Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome back to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we have a fun show today to get into. Um, you guessed it, Spence Pacquiao. Uh, the line on the fight is opened up, and Spence is a huge betting favorite. We're going to get into that. Uh, but before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, comes at you twice. A, uh, I'm sorry. Please like and subscribe to 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all public social media, as well as Texas Boxing Scene, our brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, please uh, subscribe to that channel as well. Help us get uh, that monetized as quickly as possible. Um, let's get into today's episode. Uh, Errol, the truth, Spence opened up as a minus 450. And that's huge. A minus 450 betting favorite. Um, so you need to bet $1,000 to win 450. Um, no, you, well, you got to bet 450 to win 100. That's a better way to look. You got to bet 450 to win 100. I'm sorry. And then on the other one, you bet 100 on, on pack, you win 350. That's a big deal. Um, you know, pack, yeah, I know it was two years ago, but it was the last time he's been in the ring. He beat uh, Keith Thurman, top three or four guy, top four guy in the division um, at that time. I, I don't know why they made – I mean, like, I, I, I'm going to pick Spence to win the fight too. I guess most people are, which is why he's a big favorite. I don't know. I'm going to ask people. I'm going to talk about I'm going to get their take on it, um, see who they pick to win. Um, but do, do you guys see it this way? Do, do, do you see this fight that one-sided? That seems awfully wide to me, doesn't it? Doesn't it seem wide like that? That seems way too wide. Um, does anyone give Pacquiao a chance? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, and, 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 and would you place a bet on Pacquiao just because you think the odds are too wide? Anyway, look, um. I, <laughs> First, to get into the fight, because I, I didn't do a show on this when I was out of town. Um, this is why Crawford and Spence didn't happen. It was because Spence had a fight on his own side of the street that was easier to make, that was more lucrative for him. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crawford wasn't the most lucrative fight for him to make, let alone it being the easiest fight. He had an easier, more lucrative fight to make with Pacquiao. And all this time, Crawford thought he was getting a Pacquiao fight, and actually Spence was. <laughs> I can't. It's too funny. I, I'm not hating on Crawford. But this is why I said it about Crawford. If Crawford wanted to get this fight, if he, Crawford wanted to get the Spence fight, he had to take 60-40. He had to take 40% as a B-side because Spence had better options. It's, it, 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 it's like you being... Trying to get the head cheerleader. The head cheerleader can get whoever she wants to go to the prom with her. Um, but if you want to go, you, you you have to make some concessions. Crawford didn't want to do that. Well, Crawford's going to fight nobody again. He didn't get Pacquiao. He didn't get Spence. And as a matter of fact, Spence got Pacquiao. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, as for the fight itself, I think it's a good fight. Um... I think, like I said, I think Spence wins. I think Pacquiao comes out strong. I think he he front runs. I think he throws a lot of punches early. Um, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll land some shots. Um, I think he may have a lead on the scorecard to have to come around. It's going to be Spence wins him down. Spence is going to box him early, and I think Pacquiao may win on volume. But I think Spence is going to be the first guy to really that we've seen. Can you think of anyone who really tested um, Pacquiao to his body? And I, I think Spence is going to be that guy. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how much Pacquiao has left in the tank. Um, 
I, I think that I, 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 you know, at forty-two, that's always going to be an issue. Although he looked really good at forty, um, it's it going to be interesting. Um, but I, I, I do think he'll start well. And I think as the fight progresses, as we move on, the combination of Pacquiao's age and Spence's body attack will wear him down, and I do think Spence will get him out. Um, you know, eight, nine rounds, something like that. Um, I think, you know, the fight will turn about round five, round six, something like that. And you'll see Spence in control and Spence starting to beat him up a little bit. Um, and then he'll get him out eventually and it'll be the end of Pacquiao. But I do want to say this, like if Pacquiao wins this fight, if Pacquiao somehow does this, he's the GOAT. Like there's no more discussion to beat Thurman and Spence in your forties. That's it. You're the best ever. I don't care. Um, like, he gets it. End of discussion. If Pacquiao wins this fight, he's the greatest. He's got the greatest resume ever. I mean, he's already up there, you know, but if he does this, if he pulls off this beat, which I'm not picking him to do, he's the GOAT. Period. End of discussion. Like, this would be incredible. He's 42 beating a, the prime, a prime pound for pound cat who's, the, you know, uh, this is incredible. This would be like if Ali beat Foreman when Ali was 42. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so nuts. Um, and I'm not going to speculate on why Pacquiao's kind of had this rejuvenation and long run. We're not going to speculate on that. Not here at least. But um, this is so this intrigue in this fight. Um, more it, it is there's so much legacy on the line. Like if Pacquiao wins, that's it. Like I feel the conversation is over. <laughs> like he's the GOAT. Uh, like, guys, really, if you want to debate that, let me know because it would just be ridiculous to be spent at 42 years. I'm not, I'm not picking that. Um, I do want to see how Pacquiao responds when, when Spence get, gets to his body. Um, uh, you know, um, how does he move? Does, does he go in a retreat? Does he go all out? Does this become a, a slug fest? And if it, if it does just become a straight slug fest, does that favor Pacquiao, who, who's a whirlwind of punches? It could. Right, but um, you know, I I, I I think there's paths to victory for for Spence, uh, for for Pacquiao. I mean, like there's a path. I I just can't see it it it, it come that that coming to fruition. I I think the paths to victory for Spence are so much greater. Um, he's younger, obviously. Um, I think he 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 can, he, you know, he can jab with him. He can work his body. You know, he's a stronger guy. I think he can bully him in there like Horn did. So I I think the paths to victory for Spence are greater. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, and how many hit review buys do you think this is going to do? I think this does quite well. I think we're looking at somewhere between 750, 800,000 hit review buys. I think it does well. I think it, it, it's a good number. Uh, I'm into this fight. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me get your predictions on the fight. Um, it is May 25th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.